The SNP have presided over the worst A&E waiting times on record. Diagnoses of early stage cancer in Scotland have fallen to the lowest level in a decade. Figures show the Scottish Ambulance Service is failing to meet the average target response time in every category. Six in ten nurses are thinking about quitting. Nearly 2,000 children and young people have been waiting over a year for mental health treatment. Drug deaths have tripled under the SNP's watch. The NHS maintenance backlog is over £1 billion. The SNP failed to protect elderly residents in care homes during the pandemic. The SNP were too slow to reopen mass vaccination centres in response to the Omicron variant. The vaccine passport scheme has been branded an unmitigated disaster. The SNP have consistently missed targets for life-saving cancer treatment. The SNP failed to prevent a number of avoidable deaths at Scotland's largest hospital. 73% of GPs are worried they cannot provide care for patients due to their workload. In the SNP's NHS, there is a record shortfall in the number of nurses and midwives. There are now fewer university students from the poorest backgrounds. Scotland has recorded its lowest PISA scores on record for maths and science. The SNP withdrew Scotland from international league tables for education. There are 332 fewer schools. The pupil-teacher ratio is still higher than when the SNP came to power. The percentage of school leavers going on to positive destinations is falling. Sturgeon broke her promise to close the attainment gap. Two-thirds of schools have not been inspected for five years. Thousands of children are on long-term absence from school. Scotland has the lowest spending per high school pupil in the UK. There are over 1,519 fewer teachers in Scotland than when the SNP came to power. The SNP were forced to scrap the SQA due to exam failures. The 1,140 hours of free childcare pledge was implemented a year late. Early learning and childcare teacher numbers halved since the SNP came to power. The SNP were forced to abandon their failed named person scheme following the Supreme Court ruling that the scheme would breach human rights laws. The SNP's flagship education bill was abandoned. SNP ministers spent over 1.3 million on chauffeur-driven car trips despite declaring a climate emergency. SNP broke their promise to create a national energy company. The deposit return scheme has been delayed multiple times. The SNP are failing to protect Scotland's biodiversity, with nearly half of all species in decline. Less than half of Scottish waste is recycled. The amount of waste incinerated in Scotland has doubled since 2011. The SNP are leaving a £640 million black hole in funding for decarbonising buses. The SNP missed their own legal emissions targets for the last three years in a row. The SNP missed the renewable heat target. The SNP failed to meet its target of banning biodegradable waste from being sent to landfill by 2021. Scotland's locks and rivers are in the worst state on record. The SNP failed to deliver on their promise of 130,000 green jobs by 2020. The SNP are failing to ensure Scotland's future energy needs are met by refusing to allow new nuclear power stations to be built against expert advice. The SNP ignored an 11-year-old warning from the head of CalMac about the perilous state of Scotland's lifeline ferries. Two future CalMac ferries are to be built in Eastern Europe instead of Scotland. The SNP botched the delivery of two new CalMac ferries. Hundreds of rail services a day are being cut. The SNP has been forced to end their failing ScotRail contract three years early. The SNP have failed to make a commitment to upgrade our vital rural roads, such as the A9 and A96. The SNP failed to sell Prestwick Airport. A parliamentary inquiry found Sturgeon misled Parliament during the Salmond inquiry. Due to the SNP government's incompetent handling of the Salmon case, they had to pay out over half a million pounds to him. 
The SNP-appointed Lord Advocate admitted the Crown Office maliciously prosecuted individuals involved in the Rangers' takeover, costing taxpayers at least £40 million. The SNP wasted £97,850 of taxpayers' money defending a bill in court they deliberately drafted to be flawed. The SNP wasted £7 million of taxpayers' money on cars for government ministers. The SNP wasted £52 million propping up BIFAB. The SNP are wasting over £8 million on overseas offices. The SNP government put half a billion of taxpayers' money on the line over the GFG Alliance's purchase of La Carver Smelter. The SNP's IT system for delivering common agricultural policy payments was tens of millions of pounds over budget and not fit for purpose. The wait for Edinburgh train inquiry has now taken longer than the Chilcot inquiry. More than 30 million pounds in public funding was written off after two failed investments in wave energy companies. The SNP attempted to cover up their loss of a 10 billion pound Chinese investment. The SNP's tax rises mean that Scots pay more income tax than any other part of the United Kingdom. The SNP missed their target to build more affordable homes. Superfast broadband rollout is five years behind schedule. There has been a 20% real terms cut to local government funding since 2013. There are 22,000 fewer council staff than when the SNP came to power. The SNP are cutting local council's budgets by £250 million. Library numbers have been cut by a third since 2015. The SNP have broken their promise to end council tax. The SNP failed to deliver on their promise of limiting class sizes for the first three years of primary school to 18 pupils. The SNP missed a statutory target to eradicate fuel poverty by 2016. The new £1.3 billion Queen's Ferry Crossing opened eight months late. The SNP broke their promise to achieve 30,000 modern apprenticeship starts per year by 2019. The SNP have failed to provide enough COVID support for businesses. The SNP handed back responsibility for benefits to the DWP. The SNP abandoned the Scottish oil and gas industry, putting 100,000 jobs at risk and making the country more reliant on foreign imports. The number of police officers in Scotland has hit its lowest level since the formation of Police Scotland. The SNP's 2016 manifesto promised £1 million a year for a victim's fund, but in two years, it hasn't even delivered a fifth of that. Nicola Sturgeon broke her promise on ending automatic halfway release for criminals. There are nearly 650 fewer local police officers since the SNP's police merger. The SNP's hate crime bill is the most controversial in Scottish Parliament history and criminalizes what you say in your own home. The SNP's Football Act criminalized football fans and threatened free speech. Victim Support Scotland condemned the SNP government for failing to implement Suzanne's law in their parole reforms. Pre-pandemic, violent crime has been rising for five years. Not a single victim has been allowed to attend a parole board hearing since SNP reforms despite dozens of requests.